tell me, are you afraid of being visible online because you might be heard? And if you're heard, then you might be judged. And if you judge, someone might openly criticize you online. Look, it's really scary and I completely get that sometimes putting ourselves out there can be quite daunting. But I wanna share with you why it's important to get your message out there today. Hi, my name is Kelly O'Brien. I'm an online marketing and social media coach. And I help you move your most aligned clients from discovering who you are online through to investing with you using storytelling, strategy, and systems. And today, as I said, we're talking about the storytelling side of things, which is the messaging and actually getting your message out there to more people in, a, in an environment right now where there is a lot of noise online because more businesses are having to move their business and their marketing to online platforms to be able to be heard. And it makes it really scary when you've got to, you know, go live in a Facebook um, post or you need to do a blog post or you know whatever it happens to be that you need to do to make yourself more visible online those fears can really creep in but when we tell stories that are authentic to who we are it gives us more confidence to put ourselves out there and the reason for that is no one can criticize your story because you own it it's yours and so when we start to forget about what's my knowledge, what's my, you know, comparing yourself to someone else because oh, they know more than I do or my competitor does this better than I do. You can strip all that away when you start to get back to the core of who am I, why do I do what I do and how have I got here? What, what value do I have to bring to, to, um, to the people that I most want to serve? And the reality of it is, um, is that nobody does what you do like you do because of your um, past experiences, because of the way that you see the world. So you need to tap into the right stories for people to be able to fully understand what it is you do and why you do it. And a great example of that is a story prompt that I wanna give you today to go away and have a play with, which is a story around your cause or your why story. And that story might be you know, on, time or so in this case it might be on friday as a child on june 27 1987 um, my what my core beliefs or my values were tested when and then you insert the event that tested your values and the lessons you learned so for me that's going to be there's actually a few examples but one of them is uh, when my father-in-law passed away we were living in a different state i had to drop everything and move back and go back to Tasmania to be able to say goodbye or say a final farewell to him. Um, and of course, in that moment, because things happened so fast, because we were um, a state, you know, in a completely different uh, state to where we needed to be, my entire business just had to stop while I went and, and did all that. And so for me, it highlighted that I needed to have really good systems in place to ensure that my business kept going for me. I have another example of that very, very similar story in that my husband um, had extremely high blood pressure and was uh, taken to hospital to a, a, the emergency department. And I, it, I guess the short version of the story is that in a room full of uh, four uh, patients, him being one of them, he was the youngest, the others were on their 70s and 80s, and he was the one that the doctor was most concerned wasn't going to last the rest of the day. And so in that moment, my life was about to change. And again, being a solopreneur, my business just stopped. I had no way to, um, you know, I didn't want to focus on that. That wasn't my highest priority in that moment. But because of the business that I've set up, because I've been so um, particular about systems, when I talk about storytelling strategy and systems, systems is one part of what I do and why I'm so passionate about what, why I do what I do. Um, because when we're solopreneurs or when we're in, we're in businesses, even when we've got um, clients and some of my, um, sorry, teams, some of my clients do have quite large teams, you still need to be able to ensure that your business will operate without you being there. And so that's been a key focus of me. And the, the relationship part is important, which is where the stories come in. So this is where the two meet, the systems and the storytelling, because we need the systems in place to ensure that we, um, our business can operate without us. We need the storytelling to ensure that we continue to deepen the relationships 
that we have with others. So I would love for you to try the why story or the cause story in your next social media post, in your next blog post, or maybe in your next video. Share something about why you do what you do and why it's important because nobody can criticize um, that story. And I'd love for you to share it and just um, see and feel how much more confident you are about sharing um, online and getting your business more visible. I'm gonna share more storytelling prompts over the coming uh, days and weeks and months. So stay tuned, um, but any questions that you've got um, or if you'd like to help with crafting your own stories, please reach out. I'd love to be able to help you put together um, your stories. But um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.